Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Shelby and this is Raising Wellness. I come to you guys every single week with meditations, with things that are going to help you amplify your life, just clear out that clutter and really come into finding your center, your core and your balance. Whether that's through meditation, different types of gratitude, practicing, eating, well-being practices, all of that stuff is encompassed in this channel. So if you're interested in any of that, give me a subscribe, give me a like so they know to keep making these videos for you guys and to know that there's a community out there that enjoys this content. This video particularly is the third part of a five part series on meditations that I'm creating for you guys based on the meditations that I led in my retreat in Hawaii this past January 2018. So you guys are going to get a little taste and a little flavor of what I do at those retreats and what can come to you if you join us in that space. And today this is the third part and we're practicing tapas which is the Sanskrit word for discipline. It is the third niyama in that second limb of yoga. And this is all about that inner fire. It's all about bringing up those passions and desires and really using that inner power and fire and flame to bring out and put into the world what it is that you have dreamt of, what it is you want to manifest, what it is you want to do and become. And it really starts right here in your third chakra, the solar plexus. This is where you gain a lot of that power and inner fire from. It's a yellow color, so it's very warming and bright and in your face and ready to go and beautiful and radiant. And this is where we're going to pull a lot of that power from. So I want you guys to find a comfortable seat, maybe put a pillow under your bum if you need to lift up your hips, um, find a wall if you aren't used to sitting up for about 10-15 minutes at a time, so something to help support your core, and we're just going to jump right into it. So put your hands open on your lap for now, and close your eyes, and we're just going to take a few deep cleansing breaths here just to kind of clear out everything that has been around you today, everything that's on your mind, every person you've come in contact with, and just really come into focusing on you right here and right now. And take a big inhale and sigh it out your mouth. Do it again, big inhale all the way down to the bottom of your lungs. cleansing breaths. I want you to take your hands, your left hand down first, right on that solar plexus, right below your rib cage. Fingers are all touching, and then put your right hand over top your left. And this is where we're going to focus today. This is your powerhouse. We're going to balance that inner fire by engaging and becoming mindful of your solar plexus. Really feel into it here. Does it feel alive and vibrant and warm? Or does the energy there kind of feel like it's deepened, you know, darkened a little bit, dampened? Breathe into it and just feel whatever it is you feel. If you're balanced in this area, you are good at being assertive and having harmonious relationships with people and your peers. If it's imbalanced, you excessively try to control situations 
and you like to have authority over people. You have obsessions with the small details and seeing life as either pluses or minuses rather than the beautiful whole picture that it is. So does the balance side call out to you or does the imbalance? Feel into it. This is totally and purely about you, about what you feel. And starting with knowing what you truly feel is where you begin to build your foundation. You begin to truly find the space where you need to grow from. And take a couple more deep cleansing breaths here. This time breathe in through the nose, bringing up that energy, building that fire. And breathe out through the nose, fanning the flame. Breathe in through the nose, building that fire. out through the nose, fanning the flame. Now visualize what you want to feel in this area. No judgment. Remember that the other day when we were practicing contentment, santosha, have a bird's eye view of this area. Rather than the pluses or the minuses of what you feel and what you want to feel and how it could potentially affect others, just have a bird's eye view of the entire thing, seeing it from above. It's so easy to get caught up in the opinions of others, the opinions of the world, of what you're supposed to be, of how you're supposed to feel, what your fire looks like, of the hustle, of the grind. But this is where your power is. This is where you build your power in this world. And that looks like however it's supposed to look like for you. That's the beauty of biodiversity. That's the beauty a living on this planet is that we all bring something different to the table but we can only do that when we really get focused on that center on that core on that place where we bring our power to the table so how do you want to feel in this area in the place of your work place of your relationships in the place of manifesting your reality, how do you want to feel? Joyful, excited, driven, passionate. Don't let my words define what your power is, but let them give you some insight in what they can be. And just breathe here. Finding your space, finding your power, your center. Shed off the layers and opinions and ideas of others. And really ground down into who you are. Take a big breath in. And release it all out. Let go. One more time. Breathe in. And release it all out. Fully let go of it all. 
by knowing that it is all right there inside you, always to tap into. This is your power, your life force. The place where you begin to build your life out into your reality. This is where it starts. And place your hands back down on your lap. And we're going to end this session with a mantra. Repeat out loud after me. Really feel that vibration pull down into your solar plexus and let it move you forward. Your words are vibrations that turn things on. So speak this out loud. Repeat after me. I can. I will. I am. And again. I can. I will. I am. Hear yourself. Hear the power you have in those words. Whether it sounds funny right now or whether you don't believe it, notice it. Notice where your words are at, what vibration they're giving off. And work to adjust it so that you believe it, you feel it, you become it. And we're going to repeat the mantra one more time. I can, I will, I am. Breathe in once more and release it all out. Slowly flutter your eyes open. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in to this tapas meditation. I hope that you enjoyed it and use it whenever you're feeling, you know, like that inner fire isn't burning super bright or it's burning too brightly. Use this meditation and keep coming back to it so that you can remember that you have the power over your power center, your solar plexus. You have the power over that fire, over that that discipline that you can bring into your life, that top us. And the best way to get good at these meditations and to start seeing the words that I say and the ideas that I bring to you in your daily life is by always coming back to these meditations, being repetitive in that nature. You know, like having a vision statement or a vision board, you want to look at it every single day. So it's the same things with these meditations, with these videos that I bring to you. So make sure you come back and watch them multiple times so that you can really get into the practice and really start to feel that your words are aligning with the vibration of knowing it, believing it, and becoming it. Uh, I send you guys lots of love. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be coming out with a fourth video shortly, and I will see you there.